Good morning, my name is Scott Morris. I am the Business Development Director for GTS Gaming. Uh, we are here with our first webinar of 2019. I'm very happy about that. We've got two really, really fun and awesome games to talk about today. Uh, first, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everyone's holidays were great and enjoyable and safe above everything else. Uh, very, very much do appreciate y'all joining. I know, uh, obviously, being retailers is busy business and lots of things to do. So taking time out to spend 30 or 45 minutes with us to learn about new games is always greatly appreciated. Uh, this week, we have Ian Birdsall, uh, who you may remember was recently on and talked about Western Legends and some colossal games. We're actually going to talk about two different games today. One is going to be Catch the Moon from Surf and Meeples, which, if you have not seen before, is an absolutely beautiful dexterity game. Uh, it has made several reviewers top lists for top games of 2018. Uh, and I don't want to steal too much thunder from Ian, but in short, it's awesome. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about a game called Imperius, which is a brand new game coming out very shortly here from Colossal as well. And Ian will talk a little bit about the relationship uh, between Colossal and Surf and Meeple and why the guy who was talking about Western Legends is now here talking about Surf and Meeple stuff. So uh, with that, I will let everybody know if you have any questions, there is a chat window. You can feel free to hover over your Zoom window. There will be a little chat bubble at the bottom. Go ahead, click on that and feel free to enter any kind of questions you have along the way. Uh, as I say always, everything is on the table, pardon the pun. So any kind of questions you have, let us know. Uh, I'll go ahead and monitor the chat window. So Ian, you can focus on your presentation and discussion. And then if any questions come up, I'll hop in and uh, interrupt you and we can add those in as we go. Uh, if it's something that can be answered in chat, I'll do my best to answer it in chat as well. Um, but let us know any kind of questions or feedback you have along the way. Other than that, thank you for joining. Ian, I will turn it over to you, sir. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, as uh, was mentioned, uh, I'm Ian Birdsall. Uh, I do communications and marketing for Surfing Meeple USA. Uh, we work with a lot of uh, European studios to bring their games to the U.S. market, and uh, also uh, some North American studios, Colossal Games, Maple Games. Um, so we have two titles we're going to talk about today. First is Catch the Moon from Bombix, uh, and the second is Imperius from Colossal Games. So let's uh, let me get these ready to roll here. And there it is. Boom. All right. Did I did I do the the, the share screen properly here? Uh, yeah, it looks great. <laughs> All right, so Catch the Moon, uh, it's a beautiful dexterity game. Uh, it's two to six players, uh, which is ew, what, the, what the rules say, but really there's, no, there's really no maximum to this. It, it's, you, you can play directly by the rules, but it's very much just kind of a fun, go-as-you-like game. Uh, and it's, as I already mentioned, a clever dexterity game. It looks great on the table. It's super simple to learn. Um, it's, it's just balancing ladders and, and collecting... Uh, uh, teardrops if your ladders happen to fall. Uh, it's a great family game. Uh, I, I play it with my seven-year-old daughter. Uh, she loves it. Um, it's got great components, wooden ladders uh, and, and, and wooden die, wooden tokens, uh, and a nice solid plastic base. Um, it, it looks great on the table uh, and it, that's one of the things uh, we think that retailers should consider uh, is finding a spot for it to just be out on your store because really handling this gets a lot of people's attention. Um, here we have a lot of shots of demoing this at, at conventions uh, and other shows. Um, and as you can see in, in this image here, uh, we, we got to catch just a passerby looking real nervous as this person's trying to place their, their final ladder up, up on top there. Um, it really gets everybody to really focus on, uh, <laughs> on, on the, the next options how they're going to place it and then everybody's really uh excited to see how uh somebody's going to be able to master this this simple little balancing game so you start off the game by uh placing uh two there are mo most ladders are uh kind of angular in shape some are missing rungs but there there are three straight ladders in the game and you'll start by placing two of those in the base um so the first player uh will will decide where those go um, and, uh, then the gameplay starts by rolling a die, uh, and placing a ladder. Um, so on your turn, you're going to place one ladder, roll the die to find out, uh, how to place the ladder. You'll then place it so that it's touching only one ladder. That's one of the keys, uh, uh, for, 
for that particular one. Um, and then when the second one comes up, you'll place it so that you're touching two ladders. And if you roll the moon, you'll place a ladder so it is on top and has to have the highest point on the structure. Um, and, and of course, it has to be touching at, at least one of the ladder. So um, that's where the, the, the different type of strategy comes into the game is, is you get your, your one ladder, your two ladder, or, or you have to be on the top and you have to determine how you're going to get your ladder to stay on it and how you're going to uh, mess with your opponents uh, on their next placement. Um, typical like other dexterity games. Uh, tiers are uh, kind of like uh, negative points, so to speak. Um, so if, if uh, your ladder is uh, placed and the other players in the game decide that it, you didn't follow the rules of what you ruled or it falls down or et cetera, you'll collect a tier. Um, and, uh, or if the, the whole structure falls down, um, uh, things like that. Uh, basically, the, the player with the, the fewest tiers at the, at the end of the game um, will, will be the winner. Um, and then uh, in case of ties, there are, you know, there are tie breakers. And in, in, in true uh, Bombix faction, if there are more than one player's tie, you share the victory. Um, we, uh, uh, Scott might be able to talk a little bit about this additional um, ad that we have here, but let me talk a little bit more about uh, what I think makes this game not only unique among dexterity games, but uh, how, how easy it is to, to get people to, to play it. Um, basically, the idea is that uh, the, the players are dreamers and they're trying to build uh, a, a ladder from the clouds to the moon. So just that kind of image uh, really, uh, I think, resonates with people. Everybody has those kind of dreams of flying. Uh, it looks great on a tabletop. You put it in your, in, in your store uh, in, in, a, in a kid level height, they're going to start playing with it. Parents are going to go, oh, this kid likes this game. Oh, it's that easy to play? Great. Um, it's got a $30 price point. I believe it's $29.99. Uh, so real affordable as well. Um, and then we have this additional uh, add-on to catch the eye for retailers. Um, uh, and let's see if this video works. Nope, it brought me here, brought me to the Dropbox. Oh, there we go. There we go. So just a, a little visual to uh, get people uh, drawn to uh, the area wherever you're stocking it um, that can be added on. Scott can talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, um, um, if you want just to kind of add flavor to it. Um, one of the things that we had heard from a lot of retailers is finding ways to pull the game off the shelf, meaning how can we uh, add small things that will kind of catch consumers' eyes, uh, things that will draw them towards a game and make them pick it up and pull it up off the shelf away from the other noise. Um, and Bombix obviously worked to put that, that mobile together. It works great. It's very easy to set up. You just pull it out of the box. You can hang it from the ceiling right above wherever you have the games, whether it's part of the, the main shelves that you ha have or in a separate area, like as a demo table or anything like that. Essentially what our offer is, um, if you buy a case of Catch the Moon from us, you get a free mobile as well. Um, so we do have those in stock. So if you do uh, do take advantage of ordering this week while the discount is on, which we didn't talk about at the beginning, but we'll talk about towards the end. Um, but if you do take advantage of uh, purchasing with the uh, the discounted price this week, if you buy a full case, you will get a free mobile as well. So. And uh, yeah, do we have any questions about Catch the Moon? Uh, like I said, it's a real simple, real easy to learn game. Lots of fun, family game. You know, I have to add in the first time that I actually ever experienced Catch the Moon, uh, it was at BGG, uh, not this year, but last year. And it was right around the time when GTS was setting up a partnership for us to have them you know, be available as a, an exclusive. Uh, we played in the first hour, 10 games <laughs> because, and, and every game added more players. Uh, to your point of two to six, and it's really kind of two to infinity, our final game had 13 players in it. So it was, it got pretty big pretty quick and it was really, really fun. Um, Robert Baker asked the question, how many are in a case? There are six in a case. Uh, so if you were to buy a case, you get the six games and then you get the mobile as well. The mobile comes in its own packaging, in its own case, so it is protected and separate and doesn't get jammed in on top of any additional games in the case or anything like that. So it'll come uh, safely and soundly to you. Awesome. Uh, no additional questions are coming in on chat. Uh, if anyone does have questions, feel free to hover over your uh, little Zoom video window. There'll be a chat bubble at the bottom. You can add those in. Uh, feel free to pop them in and we can talk about them. 
Uh, Kiss the Moon is a phenomenal game. It's so easy to teach. When we had it at uh, Gamma last year, we had a lot of people that came up and looked at it. And as you showed with those pictures in the, the shows, it's a very unique looking game. So it catches people's eyes when it comes by. And it seems so easy. Roll a die, place a ladder. <laughs> like, who, who can't do that? That's, that's easy. What's, what could go wrong? Uh, and then you get into those kind of arcing, hanging, weird shapes. And people are like, whoa, okay, this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, my favorite comment that I heard someone say was they called it reverse Jenga in that you're, you're building up instead of you know, taking off and everything. And it was just, it was really, really cool. So yeah, we've uh, obviously had very good success with the game. Bombix has done well with it. GTS has done well with it. So looking forward to more. So um, yeah, doesn't look like there's any additional questions. So if you wanted to move on to Imperius right now, we could. And then, uh, like I said, if anyone has additional questions, feel free to pop them in the chat and we'll, uh, we'll let people know as we go along. Uh, great. Yeah. So our next game is, whoops, let me hit this share screen button. There we go. Uh, it's from Colossal Games. And it is Imperius. Uh, and Imperius kickstarted uh, last year um, and is being delivered to, to backers uh, in January. And um, Scott can probably comment to the uh, exact retail date. I, I don't have that information in front of me right now. Um, but again, another quick to play game. Uh, this 20 to 40 minutes. Um, uh, which means that it's a great uh, game night opener, game night closer, uh, a nice uh, casual game that you can uh, bring with you. It actually fits in a, in a card size tuck box, the vast majority of it. Um, uh, and it's for two to four players. Um, two player uh, rules being a little bit of a variant, but uh, for, the, for the most part, the gameplay is the, the same. Um, uh, one of the interesting things about this drafting game is that there's a, a little bit more hidden information uh, in it and, and ways for you to uh, deceive your other the other players for how uh, what cards you're taking what cards you're playing. Um, there's uh, all the factions have the same six cards, but they have a little bit of asymmetry in their different power levels and, and, and abilities. Um, and Gong Studio did a great job with the design and the art in this game. Uh, we think it looks really really beautiful on the table and the box is great as you can see there. Um, so there are four houses. In, in the uh, box of Imperius. Um, and the basic story of Imperius is that the queen has died and uh, members of these royal houses are trying to battle for the throne of Imperius. Um, there are six basic unit types. Um, the elders, the basic elder, uh, doesn't have an ability but has uh, uh, different strength levels. Um, but uh, you also have advanced elders that have uh, special abilities that you'll, you'll do uh, that will affect the different um, uh, uh, struggles over the planets. Um, and you'll decide in the game you know, if you're playing with basic elders or, or advanced elders and then which ones you'll choose. Um, the ambassadors uh, work with... Uh, Okay, let me let me back up a second here. So when you're battling over a planet, you're going to battle over uh, strength on the planet or who is more favored on the planet. And then each different uh, unit type will uh, uh, depend on that particular level. So uh, as, you, as you see on the cards there, there are two arrows, one pointing up that is blue, one pointing down that is red. Um, that is uh, favored and strength, uh, respectively. Top left corner is the initiative, in which order that those will trigger. And then the bottom is the player board where you have the command tokens. And then if uh, any of your players are assassinated, you will lose victory points. So ambassadors uh, uh, want to be favored. They give you victory points that way. Um, nobles will uh, score uh, victory points on the planet uh, for also being favored. Commanders uh, go with strength. They give you control uh, tokens to place on planets. Um, and those will get you victory points at the end of the game. Assassins assassinate nobles. Royal guards stop the assassins. Um, and as I mentioned, each faction has, has, has different character art and uh, a, a slight variation that will help shape your strategy. Um, in addition to the different faction uh, unit cards, there are going to be event cards added to the game. Um, and then once everybody has, uh, so in a four-player game, you'll choose all four factions. Uh, you'll then select, either choose or randomly select four of the many event cards that come in the game. And then all of these cards are shuffled together and then dealt out uh, like any other drafting game. Um, and so each of these events add, add, add different uh, choices in, into the game. Um, the last four cards that are drafted, uh, or, or rather uh, remain before they're drafted, are randomly distributed 
to the, the planets. Um, so uh, that uh, you can choose while you're drafting to kind of hold back a card in the, in the hopes that it will mess up somebody's plan. Uh, and the fact that you're drafting from all the different factions, um, you, you'll have to choose between whether or not you want to take control of your own faction's characters so that you can control exactly the, the power move you're going to play or taking your opponents so that you can mess with their plans. Um, after everybody's drafted, you'll, you'll place cards. This is an example of, of what one would look after the end of the, uh, what's called the dispatch phase. Everybody goes around in turns placing a card on a, on a planet um, until there are, are five uh, on a planet and two cards can be placed face down. Typically people like to do assassins that way or, or, or hide where their nobles are, um, but there's, there's no rules for that except for if it has an infiltration keyword, et cetera, et cetera. Um, once the, the, all the cards have been dispatched, you reveal and then you order them based on their initiative order. In this example, we have uh, uh, a number of cards here um, and House Zafmir, which is uh, one of the four factions, um, is tied for favored. They have zero here, they have two here, and they are tied with this particular House Drakai. So no one wins um, favored, which means the ambassador's ability, uh, if favored, score through victory points will not trigger. However, they're also uh, the strongest, um, which means the commander for House Ashnan will unfortunately not be able to trigger his ability. But since an event card was played, the strongest faction gets to add a control token to another planet. And control tokens, whoever has the most control on one of the planet cards will score the planet's victory points at the end of the game. Um, there are two expansions available. Uh, Entity uh, contains all the content unlocked during the Kickstarter. Um, so there's eight new Elder cards, seven new events, four new planets, and then four alternate art cards. Um, and uh, we like to point out that we don't do Kickstarter exclusives. We do uh, fund, um, uh, Colossal does fund all of their games through Kickstarter, um, but uh, we want to make sure that uh, once games hit retail, uh, that uh, we're not excluding any of the customer base, that, that they can all be able to get um, any promos or, 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 or whatnot that was from that campaign or, or or, or things we do do later. Um, and then Empire of the Dawn, uh, that's a, a first full expansion um, that has 12 new Elder cards, 14 new event cards, eight new planet cards, and four alternate cards. So as you can see, lots of, lots of options and variants that, that can be uh, added to the game. Um, so Imperius is a 20 minute card game. Uh, I, it takes maybe 10 minutes to teach, maybe a few, a little bit longer. Uh, if somebody doesn't, has never played a drafting game before, um, but after the first turn, uh, you're, you're in it and you know, you know uh, how the game goes. And what people like about this a lot is a lot of the misdirection that can be uh, played through it. Um, in, in other drafting games, you are either drafting for yourself or you're hate drafting. Um, and there's a little bit of that here, but you also, you're, when, you, when you quote unquote hate draft a card, uh, you, you're not just removing that from play. You are, you are then going to be playing that card to mess with somebody else's plans. So you're either gonna mess with the, the faction that you took the card from, or you're gonna mess with another opponent's faction by playing uh, a strong card to another planet um, to uh, prevent them from, from scoring victory points. Um, it, it's, it, it's really fun. I mean, <laughs> uh, it, one of the neat things, and I'm gonna st uh, stop sharing here real quick because I'm gonna show this is, um, all of the core game cards, can, um, can you guys see me here? Yes, you're good. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> Sorry about uh, that. <laughs> so these are all the core game cards right here. This is one of the expansion boxes with the expansion cards in there. If you wanna take your, your core game and your expansion, you grab the tokens in a little baggie, you put them in the expansion box, and you can travel with it. Right? Uh, I think we got a little bit of background noise, but <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I like about it, it's it's one of my travel games. I like to bring it, uh, and since it plays so quick, uh, we break it out sometimes. You know, after we order food or just hanging out, we have, we have you know half hour to kill. Um, and uh, as I mentioned before, it's a great game night opener. Um, it's getting uh, really well received reviews um, now that it's out in, in the world. 
Um, and I think one of the, the best quotes uh, I, I saw, and oh, I wish I had written down who it was from, was that everyone's game shelf has an imperious sized hole in it. Uh, That's a good line. I like yeah, that. I, just, oh, I wish I had written that down. I, I have to find out. I find, find out. <clears throat> what was interesting to me about Imperius, uh, when I was at BGG this year, Western Legends was huge. Uh, it was everywhere. It was on everyone's radar. Everyone was playing. It was in the, the top games for the hot games area. And I had two different retailers that I know that are here with me in Austin, Texas, where I live, who came by and they were carrying boxes of Imperius and they had checked them out of the library. And both of them completely independently said, as much as I love Western Legends, I love this game more. I think this is their best game. And I thought that was extremely interesting because coming into this year, a lot of the attention in the marketing has been around Western Legends, which has obviously done very well and been very well received. Uh, and then Kamisama, the next release, which is coming up here in January, um, with Imperius coming out uh, in February, it hasn't really gotten as much attention from a marketing perspective, but it has been received extremely, extremely well, which is really cool to see. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to start uh, uh, getting that into more reviewers' hands um, and, and promoting that uh, more over, over January here as well. Awesome. We did have a question about Catch the Moon, which came up, and I thought this was a good one to share. Someone had sent it to me privately, but it's a great question. Um, Xander had asked, uh, does the case include the free demo? So anyone who's attending live today, we are offering a free demo of Catch the Moon with an accompanying purchase from GTS. So anything that's purchased between now and next week, whether it's Catch the Moon or anything else, we'll get you guys a free demo copy of Catch the Moon as well. If you do want to take advantage and kind of combine everything together, if you wanted to order five copies of Catch the Moon, have your sales rep add that sixth one that rounds out the case be the free demo copy that you get for attending live and get your mobile? Yes, that's completely okay. So that's a great question and it's probably a good way to kind of wrap everything together in one package, which is nice. Definitely. And I believe uh, Imperius case quantity is 10, right? Yes, 10, 10 per case because they're smaller and, and obviously can physically fit more into the case, which is really cool. Um, I think the box size is eight by eight, yeah, or nine by nine, yeah, roughly right about that, which is really, really good. Um, if you're used to like a Samurai Spirit type size box or anything like that, that's a very similar type box to that. Um, I also have to mention, just as a, a personal piece, I love the stylish design of the expansion boxes. They remind me of like, 80s sci-fi novels <laughs> they're just yeah. they're really really cool so yeah really look good really and i think it's a great point that you brought up about um that colossal takes into account the no exclusivity piece on kickstarter right uh, mm -hmm. as more and more publishers look to kickstarter as a way to financially kind of fund the games and bring them forward being able to include everything from a retail-based perspective is a huge opportunity i think it doesn't exclude anyone it doesn't you know kind of separate anyone it just it makes sure that the game that you guys intended for people to play is available whether someone is a kickstarter customer or a brick and mortar retailer customer or however they may be trying to get their games which is really really good absolutely cool um it does not look like there's any questions coming in around imperious if you do have questions feel free to let them let us know in the chat window um, just kind of reiterate what the offers are so that everyone knows uh, if you're unfamiliar with our webinars what we like to do uh, is between this Monday, the 7th, and next Monday, the 14th. We offer special pricing on the two games that we've talked about. Uh, so Catch the Moon is available right now. You can order it from GTS and have it delivered as soon as possible. Um, and Imperius is available for pre-order. is releasing next month in February. The expansions are going to release about 45 days after. Uh, that's something you'll see more kind of a controlled release from Colossal over the next couple of months is a base game will release, and then about 40, 45 days after the expansions will release as well. Uh, but you can pre-order Imperius as well. And if you order Catch the Moon or if you pre-order Imperius between now and the 14th, you'll get 52% off MSRP. So you get a little bit of an advantage on that from a marketing or from a margin standpoint, which is always nice and helpful at the beginning of the year when all those December bills are due, which is good. Um, so again, between now the 7th and next Monday the 14th, feel free to contact your GTS sales rep. If you are part of the uh, attendees live, we will get that information over to your GTS sales rep so that they can contact you about getting your free demo of Catch the Moon for attending live and seeing if you have any additional questions or anything we can help answer at all. So, uh, Ian, any final words or any kind of additional comments you want to add in at all? Uh, no, I mean, they're both two real quick games. So if somebody's looking for a low price point game that they, that can, is a, is a I, don't, I don't like the word filler, but, you know, it's a time 
filler game. Um, these are these are both real good options. Um, uh, and then you know, Catch the Moon is a great family game, but you know, I have kids, but I play it on my game night too when we want to you know have a, a kind of a beer and pretzels sort of game, right? Um, and uh, and and Imperius again, it plays plays real fast, but that just means you get more games in in an hour. Uh, so uh, I. Uh, Played a game with uh, at a cafe over the weekend, and uh, we uh, as uh, we we played uh, uh, three games this back to back. It's like, oh, yeah. let's, let's try this faction. Let me try this faction. Um, and then we we're like, oh, we can add uh, add the different elders in. And so we got to have a lot of different replayability, a lot of different options we have to add to the game. So um, there's there's a lot there in that little box. Awesome. Um, I did just get another private uh, question sent to me. This is a great one. Are you guys going to be at Gamma? Uh, at Gamma. Uh, I don't know if we will have a booth there, um, but I do believe we are sending uh, some people. Uh, okay, great. Whether we'll have some be the, um, more of the Surfing Meeple team or more of the Colossal team. I'm not, I'm not sure that's been decided yet. Okay, cool. Yep, it's right around the corner in March, right? It's, it's been so far away. <laughs> right around the corner. That's good. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any uh, questions about these games um, directly, they can feel free to... Uh, uh, contact us through our website forums or just email me directly at Ian, I-A-N, at, and I, I use the Colossal Games email because that's just easier. So Ian at ColossalGames.com. Um, Ian at SurfingMeepleUSA.com also comes to me as well. So either one of those uh, and I'll be able to help you guys out with any, any questions about um, product release, upcoming upcoming games, um, uh, et cetera. So feel free to reach out to me. I'm available. Really Excellent. And if anyone has any questions on the GTS side, feel free to shoot me an email. Mine is smorris at gtsdistribution.com. Uh, outside of that, we will let you all go and get back to your daily activities of being awesome retailers. Thank you all so much for joining. Again, I know time is of the essence, but really do appreciate you taking the time to join. Also definitely want to thank everyone who has helped provide feedback over the webinars last year leading into this year. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot us a note, let us know. If there's publishers that you'd like to see us, uh, have us uh, join and have discussions about, let us know. We're happy to reach out to them on your behalf and get them on here as well. Otherwise, Ian, thanks so much for joining. Really do appreciate you taking the time to, to walk through these two awesome games. And we will see you all next Monday. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Happy New Year.